Hey everyone, welcome to another English grammar lesson. Today we're going to be covering commas with extra information. Now there are a lot of different types of extra information. You've got a positives, relative clauses, interruptions, tons of things. And in the future, we may take a look at each of those things individually, but for now, we're just going to cover the basics. So let's be honest. In the past, we've looked at some pretty simple sentences for our practice. But the truth is that not every sentence in the English language is going to be something as basic as I like cookies or John is my friend, right? Some of these sentences are going to have to have some extra stuff in them, like this. My brother, not my sister, lives in Florida. Now, if you've watched any of our other videos on commas, you should kind of have a feel for where the comma should go here, kind of an eye for it, or maybe even an ear for it. The commas should be put in the sentence wherever they would make things clearer. So in this case, we'd want them here. The real sentence here is my brother lives in Florida. The interruption about my sister would be considered extra information. So we surround it with commas. Let's take a look at another one. Ted, who is 16, lives next door. Again, we've got some extra stuff in the middle here. The real sentence that I'm looking at is Ted lives next door. The stuff in the middle is extra, technically a relative clause, but either way, we would put commas around it. Moving on. Tigers, large cats, can be very dangerous. Same thing with this one. What is my actual sentence here? Well, tigers can be dangerous. The stuff in the middle, technically called in a positive in this case, is extra, so we throw commas around it. Now let's work through a couple practice ones. Cargo shorts, which used to be popular, aren't really in style anymore. Okay, so look for that extra information. And to find it, you just want to ask yourself, well, what's the real sentence here? What do we need and what stuff is extra? Give yourself a point if you would put your commas right here. Couple more. I like the car that you bought me. Now, before you even try this one, I'm actually just going to tell you the answer. When you have extra information that begins with the word that, you never need commas. I repeat, when you have extra information that begins with the word that, you do not need commas. It's just the way it is. The word that is technically called a relative pronoun, and unlike the word which, which we used in the last sentence, the word that does not take commas. So let's do one more real one then. Lucas, my cousin, is a pilot. Real sentence is, Lucas is a pilot, meaning the extra stuff would be my cousin. So we surround that stuff with commas, and we're all set. Cool. Well, whether you came here for a refresher or are just now learning this stuff for the first time, I hope this video helped. Be sure to check out the free practice down in the description, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.